Netmotion Wireless. Today we're going to talk about Netmotion Wireless and its product suite known as Diagnostics and specifically the integration now with Splunk. Netmotion Wireless has been around since 2000. We've been focused on the success of highly mobile deployments. What we've found over the years is for a mobile deployment to be truly successful, there's really four pillars to that deployment success. Connectivity, visibility, control, and diagnostics. Today we're going to focus specifically on diagnostics. Now to understand our integration with Splunk, it's important to understand why we created the diagnostics module in the first place. Diagnostics was really focused around the idea that when you think of applications and users on your network, there's, there's many tools already in place that have been in place for years to manage, monitor, and troubleshoot those devices while they're on the network. The problem is, as those users move outside the corporate network into the public network, it really becomes dark. There's really no tools to see into what's happening in that deployment. There's no tools to troubleshoot what is happening when a user has an issue. And that is really the genesis of diagnostics. Diagnostics is meant to give you visibility into those public networks that you don't normally see and give you the ability to remotely troubleshoot them. So how does it work? So the way Diagnostics works is there is an agent that is installed on every device. We support all major OSs. Uh, the agent every five seconds takes a snapshot of information on everything that's happening on the device. It looks at the cellular carrier. It looks at the signal quality. It looks at details of the signal quality. It even will look at the firmware of the air cards th that is running on the device. If there's GPS available, in addition, it'll grab GPS information, and every five seconds it collects this information, and every 30 minutes it sends it up to a console that the administrator can then see a rich a suite of reports into how their mobile deployment is performing. Here's a quick example of some of the reports. You can see everything from a full true coverage map because the data is coming from your own users and your own devices. You can drill down and see a specific device and a device map. You can see things such as usage and, and drop analysis to see if there's a problem with a particular device or scenario in the field. And then there's a full inventory management suite that comes along with it. Since we're grabbing lots of information about the device, we can populate an inventory system with this information so it's easy to understand what is actually in the field. In addition to the mapping and those rich reports, we also have the ability to do an end-to-end -end diagnostics test. Now this can be user initiated, so the user pushes a button when they have a problem. And what happens is we will test every point along the connection back into the network. This can also be triggered by policy. So using our policy module, it is possible to say, if the device gets disconnected for a period of time, go ahead and run a test automatically for me. When the test is run, the results of the test are sent up again to the same console, and an administrator or an IT help desk can get alerted that a test has been run and failed and can quickly pinpoint where the problem might lie in the test. In addition to very extensive end-to-end -end tests, we look at everything from the device adapter to the true internet connectivity with a site that we host. And in addition, we give the user the, or the customer the ability to create their own tests. So while we can test to validate if they can reach the internal network, this gives the customer the ability to then further extend those tests to determine if maybe the application itself is having problems or maybe there's some internal routing issues. Now what we've decided to do, knowing that we collect all of this rich information, is we've decided to export it out via syslog. Now that means you can use any syslog connector, but we've specifically looked at Splunk as a tool that we feel is the most powerful in the industry, and we've created a sample application. The sample application is just a way for you to get started. That application is available today on Splunk Base for a free download. So let's take a look. Here we're looking at our sample report. This is a quick report showing the device last known location. And again, the default here is that we're looking at the last two days. You can see that it's located 10 devices in the field, and it can map the information about where those devices are. We can furthermore drill into a particular location to see more detailed information about what we're sending. Again, if you look on the left, we're sending lots of information to Splunk. Using this information, this is where 
the power really becomes in the hands of the developer that can develop applications with Splunk, Splunk and tie it into other data points. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Here's a list of the example reports we include with our, our Splunk application. Let's take a look at analytics data. Analytics data is pulling information from our mobility agent and looking at things such as what applications are the users running? How much bandwidth are those applications consuming? Who are our high heavy users? You can see here I can mouse over. I can see that in this case, Chrome is the most heavily used application, but there's also other applications that are being used by this user. I can see my top 10 users again and drill down into the information itself. If I look at a device, that's again where I can see the fields we are sending and we're sending lots and lots of rich data that can be used to then determine you know, additional reports such as compression ratios. Let's look at another report. Thinking of our diagnostics end-to-end -end troubleshooting ability, I can see here that I've, I've had seven tests run in the last two days and six of them have failed. If I look here on the right, not only are we giving information about the tests that failed, but the probable root cause as well. This is something an administrator can use to easily begin to troubleshoot and isolate where an issue may arise. You can see also that we are showing location information. So again, if we're able to, we will grab, grab GPS data and we'll show you where the failures occurred. This gives the administrator the ability to determine if there's a common problem happening in a particular location. Let's take a look at another report. This report is combining that diagnostics data with samples. So you can see here that the, a, a failure happened on a particular device and I have lots of information about that device itself. I know everything from the user that was logged on. I know what the manufacturer of the device is. I even know the model and I know the air card information, including firmware. This is information I can use to determine if a device is having problems in the field, perhaps it's the firmware itself or the air card itself that that device is using. Here's where I can look for commonality and determine are other devices running that same firmware also having issues or other devices running that same air card also having issues. Again, this is a tool to give you the ability to do lots of troubleshooting. Again, this is a sample report. It's a way for a customer to get started with Splunk. We send the data as soon as we get it. So all of this data is going to be in your, in your Splunk server. And again, if you have other data points, you can use common things such as device name or username to tie those data elements together and create additional rich reports. To, sh to show you quickly, here's an example from our help. Our help file is very extensive. You can see it's showing you here what are the device information we're sending. We're sending things such as current carrier, the status of the device, the device name. We're sending information about its firmware, its home carrier information. A new report that could easily be created is, I want to know any time a device in my deployment roams to a different carrier. So this is not its home carrier, it's roaming to a different carrier. And I want to create an alert when that situation happens. That could be a, a way for me to quickly stop you know, data overages or understand why devices are roaming. I've got everything about the device itself that I may need to call my carrier. I've got my IMEI, I've got the manufacturer, the model, and the network technology that it was currently receiving at the time the sample was taken. Again, remember, we take these samples every five seconds. This is where I could determine with my devices in the field, what's the average LTE? What is the average SPA plus that the devices are actually getting in my deployment and understand how successful my deployment is. In terms of LTE information, we gather even further details such as signal to noise ratio. This is where I can really determine that is my LTE signal, while I may get a, a decent signal, is the user actually able to send data? Again, we are NetMotion Wireless and this is our diagnostics module as of version 3.10, which was released in 2015. All of this information is available. Again, we have a free application in Splunk, in Splunk Base. It is available today. We already have lots of customers using it. We also have lots of customers creating their own reports. And that's what we're really looking forward to. Because again, the power is really in the data itself.